Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, it is March, and I know that is Tyler's favorite time to ski. Is it yours, Brian? I don't know if I have a favorite time. I'm not as experienced as mm. this gentleman. <laughs> How was your snowblower experience this morning? It fired up. Thanks for asking. Do you have to pull it? No, it's an electric start. So you, you, just, you can push pull. You can pull. It's a. You can either pull it or it's an electric start. Okay. I went with the electric start, and right. it worked. Well, that's good. First take. There's a heavy <laughs> wet snow underneath, and then of course the powder on top. We've got a look here at the month so far. <clears throat> the coloring of the box is all about the high temperature. So if you see red boxes, the highs were above average. The gray, though, for a change, right at average for today and yesterday. But uh, overall, the month has been way above, like on the order of 11.6 degrees above average, more like what's typical in Philadelphia. That's what we had uh, the last week and a half in Burlington, Vermont. So, uh, of course, the snowstorm is an exception to that. But uh, honestly, for a lot of the storm, the temperature was above freezing. That's why it was such a wet snow. You go up, it's a little bit cooler, sure. But... Uh, still a wet snow to start, finishing up with the dry snow. Brattleboro right now, the flags are not whipping around quite as much as they were earlier because the gusts are down. In many cases, 20 or so miles per hour. They were 40 miles per hour earlier in the day. And you'll see they continue to diminish. Maybe they come up a little tomorrow afternoon, but still uh, with a March sun angle, lots of sun, Temperatures up close to 50, a little breeze is not going to feel too bad tomorrow. Still have some lingering outages. Caledonia County, 80 customers out. Washington, Wyndham, Windsor uh, topping the list. Addison down to zero. That's nice to see. And uh, we see some clouds coming over on Storm Tracker. There may be a flurry left over in parts of the Adirondacks, but generally speaking, we're entering this drier pattern for tomorrow. And temperature is not dropping off too much except in Middlebury, 22 there. And you'll see on Futurecast, any clouds first thing tomorrow quickly go away. And we've got pretty much total sun tomorrow. It's a very bright day with all the fresh snowpack. And uh, the other thing is the roads are going to be pretty wet with the melting snow. So kind of a, a messy day to be driving around. Windshield washer fluid needed. Uh, on Wednesday and Thursday, we bring in a few more clouds, maybe a sprinkle, but I just think most of these next couple of days will be dry, <clears throat> even through Thursday. Looking good. Temperatures are up near 50, as you'll see here, especially Wednesday and Thursday. So all of the next five days are way above the average high of 39, but eventually next week will cool off somewhat. So the call tonight, some passing clouds giving way to bright sunshine for tomorrow. Plattsburgh 49, Lake Placid at 43. And uh, you'll see as you get down towards Virgins and Middlebury, it's a little bit closer to 50. Same deal for Lebanon and especially Brattleboro, 54 tomorrow in Brattleboro. So for sure some melting. There wasn't a lot of snow there, about a uh, <clears throat> slushy couple inches downtown, but still across the board melting tomorrow to some degree. Low 50s Wednesday and Thursday, just a tiny sprinkle around. But Friday brings... Uh, fairly numerous showers, I think, especially later in the day Friday. Only a few linger for the weekend. So the weekend turns out pretty nice. It's just that we're dodging showers, and I think we'll refine that, have some more detail once we get closer. How about the first day of spring, Tuesday of next week? There may be snow in play. We'll watch it. Brian, Liz. Thanks.